No. We have been married for eight days. <laughs> eight days? Yes, and it feels like a century to me. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong after just eight days? <laughs> Doctor, everything can go wrong in just eight days. Try marrying the devil and you'll see what I'm talking about. You see, that kind of attitude is the reason why we are here. I mean, most couples are still on their honeymoon on the eighth day. <laughs> I have been to hell and back in just eight days. <laughs> um, pardon me, but if I may ask, how old are you two? You know you look quite young. Well, he's 28 and I'm about to turn 24. Excuse me, Dr. Ali. Are these the sort of questions you're going to ask us all day here? <clears throat> okay. How may I help you? You cannot help me, but you can help her. She's a problem. Why are you both here? <laughs> to save our marriage. And why are you here, Mr. Tala? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is this is a total waste of time and money. Why come here if you will not give it a try? Exactly what I said when we got here, Diana. That we are not supposed to be here. And all this is utterly ridiculous. Look. The very first step to fixing your marriage is, um, you know, accountability. You see, everybody makes mistakes. I don't make mistakes. Are you willing to do anything to save our marriage? Diana, I am right here, right beside you. What else do you want from me? Look, as I was saying, every single person makes mistakes. All you have to okay, do... Okay, if you insist with your mistakes. <laughs> The only mistake I have made is marrying her. Other than that, I have lived a blameless life all through. Those were not the vows you read to me in front of our families and friends, Jackson. <laughs> Why do you think your wife is the problem? Well, I don't know. I just know that she is. I'm sure he did not mean it, Dr. Lena. You can call me Lena. Now, for this to work, you have to, you know, confront the issue head on. Do not defend him. Okay. Jackson, why do you think your wife is the problem? <laughs> so now we are on a first name basis with each other. Eh? Madam, address me as Mr. Tala. By the way, how old are you? <laughs> you look too young to be giving us any piece of marriage advice. Are you even married? Uh, not yet. Then, <laughs> what business do you have talking to us about something you have no clue about? I don't trust you. Are you always this deflective? I don't know what you're talking about and I don't even know what that means. Yes, he is always deflective. And does that bother you? It drives me crazy. Maybe that is the point. He's doing it again. How am I supposed to have an adult conversation or any conversation at all when he is like this? I thought you were supposed to be an adult for you to have adult conversations. <laughs> Mr. Tala. Will it hurt you to be just a little bit kinder to your wife? Listen here, Dr. Lena, Lena, whatever your name is. I don't pay you to side with my wife. I brought her here so that you can tell her that she's a problem. If I am the problem, then why did you bother marrying me in the first place? The same question I've been asking myself the past eight days. It seems that there is so much between you two that is bottled up inside. And you both need to get that off your chest in order to save your marriage. Now, <clears throat> I want you both to tell each other how you feel. Dr. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't you find it ridiculous that three grown-ups will choose to sit around this time of the day and only choose to talk about feelings? Don't you find all that ridiculous? Ah, no, I'm not supposed to be here. And all this is beneath me. Hmm. What is this? Oh. Fix her. <laughs> Fix her and send her home. A 
will be waiting. I left my home address with your secretary by the way. Mr. Tala. Look. Whatever is going on between you and your woman, you need to fix it. If she is the one for you, and it's for the long run, then it does not matter who is at fault. It does not matter who said what or who did what. Be the leader. Man up. Check your ego. Swallow that pride. Effectively communicate and fix it. Even if she is the one in the wrong, then break the ice with an apology. Look, <laughs> if you do your part, okay? If you do your part and she refuses to come around and meet you in the middle, then either recognize that she is not the one for you, or prepare for a lifetime of one-sided effort and vice versa. Now, I want us to try this again, and please, let us give this session the seriousness that it deserves. From now on, we are operating by my rules, and you are not to speak until you are spoken to. Now please, have a seat. Mr. Tala, please sit. <laughs> Mr. Tala, sit. <laughs> no wonder you are, you are you are not married. You are so bitter. <laughs> Must you make all women you meet miserable? So far, the two of you are still counting. Remember, remember, my office, my rules. Now let's try this again. <laughs> How long have you two known each other? Minus the eight days we have been married, we've known each other for about three months now. Uh, and is that true, Mr. Tala? Hey, hey, Dr. Lena, my wife is a lot of things, but she's not a liar. Hasn't she given you the answer already? So, let me get this straight. Mm. You met, courted each other, mm -hmm. and got married all in three months. Yes! And, and, and I know, I know what you'll say, that, that we rushed into it. But that was not the case. <laughs> I am not here to judge you at all. You see, most marriages fail because of lack of preparation. If I may ask, mm -hmm. how did you two meet? <laughs> oh, I love telling this story. It's my most favorite story of all time. Actually, why don't you let your husband tell us? I would love to hear it from him. Uh, why, why don't you let her tell the story? She was just doing fine. Besides, <laughs> like, it's a favorite story after all. <laughs> Isn't it yours too? Ah, can't you let, let her tell the story? We were both there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it can be any different. Please let me tell the story. I really, really love it. I insist. I would love to hear it from your husband himself. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Tell her the story. You do know the story, right? <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, then tell it to her, Jack. Tell her the story. Okay, tell okay, her. okay. I will tell her the story. Okay. <laughs> 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 